nature is beautiful. If you really listen, it's fantastic. The orchestra of nature is beautiful. But most of us, we go outside, yeah, I'm going to go take a walk in the park, go relax. They hear the wind, a bird or two. But that's the problem. They just hear it. But if you really listen, there's more to it than that. Our eyes are the same way, too. Sometimes we look at something and then then we describe it later. and it's Maybe somebody else saw the same thing and they describe it different. Because neither of them really looked at it. They saw it, but they didn't really look. I remember when we were little kids. Our Indian community used to have parties from time to time. Yeah, they do fundraising, and then, and then uh, Lala Ed, he was one of the elders, and he would he really kept the community together. When he died, the community started to fall apart. He was part of the keeping everything together and having meetings and activities and stuff like that for kids to do. And one of them was real fun. Just like in the old days, we didn't have a community building, so we, we met in the, the Episcopal Church because most of everybody's Episcopal. And so they, we would have all kinds of activities and games. Yeah? And it, this one was called the Gossip Game. And I think he called it a different name. Anyway, everybody sat in a circle, so there are probably about 50 of us sitting in a circle. So everybody be quiet. Don't say anything. Yeah. So then he he was standing up and he whispered something to the kid that was to his right. Then you have to whisper it to the next person. You go all the way around. After 50 kids, the result was really funny. It shows you this is what happens. People don't really listen. They hear, but they don't really listen. So, the word Lalaet said was grapefruit. Came back around, it was banana. (laughs) How the hell did that switch? Here, somebody in the middle said, What do you mean, banana? I thought it was orange, she said. (laughs) That's what switched several times. And she would just laugh, yeah? It was just funny. And then. See, this shows you that when somebody says something, sometimes people are not really listening. Our ears were designed to listen, not just hear. So America is counting on us. America wants us to hear, but they don't want us to listen. So when America pretends to be the the enemy and then does something bad to its own people and then the media reports it and all of a sudden all the American citizens want to declare war on, on the enemy, whoever it is, whether it's Indians or Muslims. Since people just hear but they don't listen, they hear something. Then they talk to a different group of people. They add something to it. Sometimes they don't even realize they're adding to it because they're so emotionally involved in the issue. They add information on there. It's not even true. This is what America is counting on because America knows that most people hear, but they don't listen. They're not the same. Listen is when you pay attention to every detail or as much as you can. Here is just... Yeah? That's people here. When you use your mind and you focus in, then you're listening. See? The mind is really playing the role here. That's why I remember what I said. Reality begins within. That's in the mind. So when you look at something, your mind focuses in on it. Now you're really viewing it closely. Your mind is the key here. You see? 
America knows that most people do not listen attentively, nor do they look at something up close. So that when they just hear something and just glance at something, they already make an opinion on that. And then they spread that. And it's a false judgment because they didn't really take the time to check it out. When people are dualistic, they don't really know themselves. When you have peace in yourself, that means you've taken the time to know yourself. So naturally, you take the time to check things out. That's how people of peace are. Because they have peace inside themselves. They're at peace with their past. But most people in the dualistic world are not. That means they do not know themselves. They have never taken the time to check themselves out because they don't want to feel those emotions like from past experiences that were difficult. They're trying to avoid that. So they look for peace outside of themselves and that's the mistake. So that's why when they look at something, they don't really take it all in. Dualistic people cannot comprehend the fullness of reality. So when they hear something, they don't really listen. They just hear bits and pieces. This is what America is counting on, that people don't listen, that people don't really look at things closely. So this way they can present America as this superhero defending freedom and liberty from all evil on this world. See, look at how dualistic that statement is. So that means when they pretend to be the enemy and do something, attack its own people, then the media presents this and then people believe it. They say, oh, geez, man, you see that two planes crashed into the World Trade Centers? It was Muslims. They found Korans in their abandoned cars. How convenient to leave such evidence. And then when the buildings fell, they fell so strategically, straight down. And people see that and it affects them emotionally. All those poor people who died in there, damn fucking Muslims. Let's kill the Muslims. That's exactly what America wants its citizens to feel. That's what happened to Indians. Yeah, they pretended to be Indians and they did the same thing. The U.S. Calvary soldiers dressed up as Indians and killed a lot of white people. So America wanted all Indians exterminated back in the 1800s. So America said, we have to kill off the Indians. Yeah, that's what America does. As long as it says it's the good guy. America is really into a lot of things that people don't realize. The media presents America as the hero, as the rescuer. The image I have in my mind is, you know, Superman standing there with the holding the American flag where he's standing there where he fights for truth and justice and the American way. That whole idea this is what the media is presenting and promoting this works in people's minds so that they think, okay, no matter what America does, it must be the right thing. It wants citizens to think like that. So when something happens that's questionable, people will say, well, you know, there must have been something right. Otherwise, America would have never did it. See, that's what the media wants people to think. And so this gives politicians license to do these things. It justifies their actions, their, their rationalizations, and so forth. That I really want to emphasize that, because that has happened before, as I said. That's America. They know what to say to win people over. The event I always want to come back to, and mainly it, the reason why, is because I'm an Indian. Is back in the 1800s where a lot of the Calvary would dress up as Indians and kill a lot of white people. 
rape their women and even the children and then kill them and then blame it on the Indians and then they report this to the media the media goes out there takes pictures of the aftermath and you see these horrendous images and then the media embellishes the story they exaggerate the story they make it worse than it really is bad enough, but they make it even worse. And they do this to get public sentiment to be in the majority in calling for war, extermination of the enemy. So they create the enemy. America creates the enemy after real people, and then creates an incident, or many incidents, so that American sentiment will say, yes, we have to go to war. We have to protect freedom. We have to protect our our way of life. And the politicians say this, the media promotes it, and, and like Superman standing there with the American flag saying we're fighting for peace and, and justice and liberty from the American way, then they go to war. So families are really thinking that they're making personal sacrifices by sending their young men and women into war. And they come home and have these big celebrations and parades in the street every time one comes home and and solemn ceremonies when one comes back dead. And they're saying, yeah, he sacrificed so that we have our freedom. It's, it's all bullshit. It is all bullshit. There is a reason underneath all of this and it is not to protect freedom 